Hey there, and welcome to a very brief run through of the accessibility options in our latest update. I'm Stu Tilly, the game director for The Persistence. Even though we focused on designing The Persistence to be a tough challenge, we also believe that games should be fun and inclusive for players of different skill levels and for players with disabilities. By turning on assist mode in the pause menu, the game now gives you fine control of many settings which directly affect the gameplay difficulty. For example, you can now give yourself infinite ammo, change the damage enemies do, and even the speed at which they move, which can make all the difference in a challenging horde battle. Or, if you're partially sighted, there's the option to display enemies as bright red and visible through walls. Outside of assist mode, there's all new support for players who are hearing impaired. Most notably, the on-screen representation of key audio events. A lot of the strategy in the persistence comes from hearing where the dangers are and reacting to it. So this feature gives out vital information to all players. Lastly, this update has many options for customising the control inputs. From fully remappable buttons through to the quick collect feature, there is functionality to help out players of all ability levels. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick tour of the new accessibility features. Be sure to check out the full suite in the brand new update of The Persistence.